Was Dilophosaurus actually venomous? The short answer is a resounding no. But that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to how Jurassic Park famously and wonderfully reimagined this incredible dinosaur. In this video, we're going to take a fun deep dive to debunk every single myth about Dilophosaurus that Hollywood cooked up. From its surprisingly small on-screen stature to those totally imaginary venom spitting abilities and that flamboyant neck frill will peel back the layers of cinematic magic. Then we'll reveal what this fascinating 193 million year old predator was truly like. And trust me, the real animal was far more impressive and intriguing than anything Steven Spielberg could have dreamed up. Get ready to watch that famous movie scene with completely new eyes. What if I told you that nearly everything about Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park was pure fiction? This wasn't an accident or oversight. Steven Spielberg and his creative team made a calculated decision to completely reinvent this dinosaur for maximum dramatic impact. They took one of the early Jurassic period's most impressive predators and transformed it into something that existed only in their imagination. The movie's Dilophosaurus borrowed features from entirely different animals living today. The iconic neck frill came directly from Australia's frilled lizard, a small reptile that spreads its colourful membrane when threatened. The venom spitting ability was lifted straight from cobras and other venomous snakes. Neither trait had any connection to the actual fossil evidence. The filmmakers essentially created a biological mashup that mixed modern reptilian defence mechanisms with a dinosaur name. Stan Winston's special effects team faced a specific creative challenge during production. The script called for a smaller, more agile creature that could effectively terrorise Dennis Nedry in that infamous rain-soaked scene. A massive 20-foot predator wouldn't have worked for the confined space of a jeep encounter. So they deliberately shrunk Dilophosaurus down to about the size of a large dog, completely ignoring its true proportions. The animatronic Puppet was designed to move like a modern lizard with quick darting motions and a distinctive head bobbing behavior that had nothing to do with dinosaur biomechanics. This fictional portrayal became the definitive image of Dilophosaurus for an entire generation. Children grew up believing this dinosaur was a small frilled venom spitting menace. Toy manufacturers, educational materials, and even some museums perpetuated these myths. The movie's influence was so powerful that it essentially overwrote scientific reality in popular culture. Paleontologists found themselves in an impossible position after the film's release. They spent decades correcting misconceptions at every conference classroom and public presentation. Dr. Robert Barker and other prominent researchers expressed frustration at having to constantly explain that real Dilophosaurus looked nothing like its movie counterpart. The scientific community watched as one of their most important early Jurassic discoveries became synonymous with Hollywood fiction. The real irony is that the actual Dilophosaurus was far more impressive than anything Spielberg's team created. While they invented a creature designed to frighten audiences for a few minutes, the fossil evidence reveals a predator that dominated its ecosystem for millions of years. The truth about this magnificent animal tells a story more compelling than any Hollywood script. Picture a predator the size of a modern brown bear stalking through ancient Arizona forests. That's the real Dilophosaurus, a massive 20 to 23 foot long carnivore weighing up to 990 pounds. This giant dwarfed the dog-sized creature Hollywood created, making the movie version look like a house pet by comparison. The actual fossil evidence reveals one of the early Jurassic period's most formidable hunters, a predator that dominated its ecosystem for millions of years. The story of how scientists discovered this giant begins with a case of mistaken identity. In 1940, Jesse Williams, a Navajo man, found the first Dilophosaurus fossils in the red sandstone cliffs near Tuba City, Arizona. Paleontologist Samuel Wells initially classified these remains as Megalosaurus weatherly, lumping them together with other poorly understood theropods. At the time, Megalosaurus served as a catch-all category for large, carnivorous dinosaurs that didn't fit anywhere else. It wasn't until 1964, when a more complete skeleton emerged from the same Cayenta formation, that the true nature of this predator became clear. The new specimen revealed something extraordinary. The skull bore a pair of distinctive longitudinal crests running parallel along the top, 
unlike anything seen in other theropods. These prominent ridges prompted Wells to reclassify the dinosaur entirely, creating the new genus Dilophosaurus in 1970. The name literally means two crested lizard, directly referencing the animal's most striking feature. The fossil remains paint a picture of a powerful predator built for both speed and combat. Dilophosaurus possessed muscular legs designed for rapid movement across varied terrain while its arms were surprisingly robust, featuring long slender bones that ended in four-fingered hands. The first finger was particularly impressive, short but incredibly strong, armed with a large curved claw, perfect for grasping struggling prey. The feet were equally formidable with stout toes, bearing sharp claws that could deliver devastating wounds. The skull structure reveals fascinating complexity in this predator's anatomy. Despite its large size, the skull was remarkably delicate with a narrow snout and a distinctive gap below the nostril called a subnarial gap. The teeth varied dramatically throughout the mouth with long curved blade like teeth in the upper jaw designed for piercing and slicing, while the lower jaw contained much smaller teeth better suited for gripping. This dental arrangement suggests sophisticated feeding strategies far more complex than simple bone crushing. This giant roamed a landscape vastly different from today's Arizona. The early Jurassic environment featured seasonally dry conditions with migrating sand dunes and conifer lined waterways, creating a river oasis ecosystem. Here among primitive mammals and early dinosaurs like Scutellosaurus and Sarasaurus, Dilophosaurus established itself as an apex predator whose hunting methods continue to puzzle scientists today. Here's a paradox that challenges everything we think we know about dinosaur predators. Dilophosaurus was a massive hunter that may have possessed surprisingly weak jaws. This contradiction has sparked one of paleontology's most heated debates, forcing scientists to question fundamental assumptions about how early theropods obtained their meals. The evidence presents a puzzling picture of a giant predator that might have been limited by the very anatomy that made it famous. The scientific controversy began when researchers examined Dilophosaurus's skull construction in detail. Some paleontologists argued that the jaws were simply too delicate for the powerful biting forces we associate with large carnivorous dinosaurs. Samuel P. Wells, who first described the species, believed that the dinosaur's jaws were not designed for a powerful bite, suggesting it may have been a scavenger or used its front teeth for plucking and tearing rather than biting, and the maxillary teeth further back for piercing and slicing. This assessment painted Dilophosaurus as a predator with significant limitations. The anatomical features fueling this debate are specific and measurable. The narrow snout construction combined with the distinctive subnarial gap in the upper jaw suggests a skull built more for precision than brute force. The positioning of jaw muscles appears less robust than in later theropods, while the overall delicate construction of the skull raises questions about its ability to withstand the stresses of powerful biting. These features create a mechanical disadvantage when generating crushing forces. Scientists employ sophisticated biomechanical analysis to estimate bite forces, studying muscle attachment sites, jaw geometry, and tooth design to calculate the maximum force an extinct predator could generate. A 2005 beam theory study by Francois Terrien and colleagues found that the bite force in the mandible of Dilophosaurus decreased rapidly towards the back of the tooth row. This research suggested that the front of the mandible with its upturned chin and arrangement of teeth was used to capture and manipulate relatively smaller prey. The implications of a weak bite force led to theories about specialized hunting techniques and dietary preferences. Perhaps Dilophosaurus targeted smaller animals that didn't require crushing power, or maybe it employed slashing attacks using its blade-like teeth rather than bone-crushing bites. Some researchers proposed that it functioned more as an opportunistic scavenger than an active predator. Recent research challenges these earlier assumptions about Dilophosaurus's limitations. In 2021, paleontologists Matthew A. Brown and Rowe stated that the remains showed that Dilophosaurus had jaws strong enough to puncture bone. Their analysis revealed that specialized air sacs from the respiratory system strengthened the skeleton while keeping it lightweight, suggesting this predator possessed more sophisticated adaptations than previously recognized. These findings indicate that Dilophosaurus may have employed unique feeding strategies that maximized its anatomical advantages. 
Was this massive predator actually more of an opportunistic scavenger than an active hunter? This question has divided paleontologists for decades challenging the traditional image of Dilophosaurus as a fearsome apex predator. For years, scientists portrayed this early Jurassic giant as the undisputed ruler of its ecosystem, a powerful hunter that actively pursued and killed its prey. However, mounting evidence suggests a far more complex feeding strategy that defied simple categorization. The weak bite force discovery fundamentally changed how researchers viewed Dilophosaurus, leading some scientists to propose that it functioned primarily as a scavenger rather than an active predator. This theory overturned decades of assumptions about early theropod behavior. Samuel P. Wells, who first described the species, believed that the dinosaur's jaws were not designed for powerful biting, suggesting it used its front teeth for plucking and tearing rather than biting, and the maxillary teeth further back for piercing and slicing. This assessment painted Dilophosaurus as a creature limited by its own anatomy. The evidence supporting scavenging behavior extends beyond jaw strength. The tooth design appears better suited for slicing through soft tissue than crushing bones with long, thin, curved teeth featuring serrations along both edges. The powerful legs built for covering ground suggest an animal designed for traveling long distances to locate carcasses rather than ambush attacks. The distinctive subnarial gap in the upper jaw was initially interpreted as additional evidence of structural weakness that prevented forceful biting. Examining potential prey animals raises serious questions about Dilophosaurus's hunting capabilities. Cerasaurus, a long-necked herbivore sharing the same environment, and the small-armoured Scutellosaurus both possess defensive features that might have challenged a predator with limited bite force. The seasonally dry Arizona landscape with migrating sand dunes and conifer-lined waterways created an environment where scavenging opportunities would have been abundant. Recent research dramatically challenges these scavenging theories. Paleontologist Matthew A. Brown and Rowe found that the remains showed that Dilophosaurus had jaws strong enough to puncture bone. Their analysis revealed that specialized air sacs from the respiratory system both strengthened and lightened the skeleton while allowing unidirectional airflow through the lungs, similar to modern birds and crocodiles. This breathing system indicates high metabolic rates and activity levels typical of active hunters. Evidence of actual predatory behavior emerged when researchers examined Cerasaurus fossils. The holotype specimen bore possible tooth marks scattered across the skeleton that may have been left by Dilophosaurus with an oval depression on the left scapula and a large hole in the right tibia. Brown and Rowe considered Dilophosaurus to have been an apex predator in its ecosystem rather than a scavenger, suggesting this remarkable dinosaur employed sophisticated hunting strategies that distinguished it from later theropod giants. Dilophosaurus represents a crucial link in understanding how movie myths can overshadow remarkable scientific discoveries. The real animal offers insights into the complex evolution of predatory behavior that Hollywood's fiction completely erased. Next time you encounter popular depictions of prehistoric life, question what you're seeing and seek out the fascinating scientific reality behind the spectacle. The truth is almost always more compelling than fiction. Every time we watch that famous Jurassic Park scene, we should remember that the true Dilophosaurus was a 20 foot giant whose mysterious hunting strategies continue to challenge our understanding of early dinosaur evolution.